Hi, today I want to show you what I believe is the fastest way to animate anything. And I believe that's true. I don't think it's clickbait, uh, but there are some caveats. The big caveat is style. Most of the time when you use this effect, you'll get um, a very specific sort of style. Not always, definitely. And there are a number of things that you can do to control how it looks, obviously. But if I had to describe um, how it will likely look maybe a little bit janky, um, but I think for a lot of people, the speed will be worth it. I'm pretty excited for this one. Let's get started. I have a blank timeline here. I'm going to drag on a fusion composition, spread that out a bit, and then click this button down here to open the fusion page. Here we have our default fusion workspace. And for this demonstration, what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag in three little images I have up here in my media pool. We got Mario. We got Atreus. And we got Master Chief with a fake PNG transparent background because I think it's funny. Now I'll move these over here and I'm going to click this first icon over here to create a background node. Now I'm actually going to bring down the alpha on that. So that is a completely transparent layer. I'll connect that right to my media out here. And now this will be the core of the node tree. And now for each of these icons, I can just connect the output to the output of the background and then each progressive merge and it will just create a new merge for those icons. You can see this Atreus is a little bit of a big guy. I'll size those up so they are about equivalent, and then we can start uh, building something out to demonstrate. I'm gonna drag Mario out to this side, Master Chief out to this side, Atreus will go down below. Now, longtime viewers might actually recognize the technique I'm about to walk through. I actually discovered this on a live stream and then made a follow up video about it. That one was specifically about creating sort of like Disney style, like sing along videos. But I really want to show off like how much more flexible the technique is as well as just show it to more people who might probably never see that video. But check this out. I'm going to come down to this merge. We have Mario off screen here. I'll click this button. So we only have the one workspace. And I'm just going to set one keyframe on the center parameter. I'll actually unclick that real quick and just go back to the beginning of my timeline, then click check again. As janky as we kind of want this to be, it's going to be even more janky um, because like I'm not actively working with audio. I plan to like record audio afterwards. If that works, we'll see. But down in merge, I have set one keyframe at the beginning of my timeline. And as soon as I set that keyframe, I got this row of icons above my viewer. And I'm going to click on this one, the little pen tool for draw to append or draw append. I will click that. And now uh, this is sort of primed. So what I can do is mouse over to the center of this image and I'm actually going to play my composition. And then once I press play, if I select the center and move my icon at all, it will record that movement in real time. So watch, I'll click that, click play. And I can have Mario come in and be like, hey, Master Chief, how you doing? Yay. And you can see we set a bunch of icons when that came in. So now if we just play that back, hey, we have him coming in. Yay. And then I, I, I paused and he came in now. <laughs> but um, now we can go to Master Chief, sort of do the same deal and bring in his response live. Mario comes in. Hey, Master Chief. Yeah, what's up, buddy? That's not the time. That's not the thing. Yay! Maybe I should have wrote a script. <laughs> but now we have both those. Mario comes in and says, "Hey, Master Chief." Yeah, Mario, something, 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 something. And then over here, you know, we'll set a little keyframe. And they're talking away, and they're just gonna be like, "Father." <laughs> I could never afford the rights to make a story with these characters, so this will never be a thing. But hey, Mario coming in, Master Chief coming in, they're talking, they're having a conversation, Atreus pops up. Father. <laughs> this looks so silly. <laughs> this looks very silly. Yes, that is on purpose, but I hope I have demonstrated something pretty powerful. Let me show you one slightly more practical example. Yes, you can do this sort of janky narrative animation, but you could also use this just as a faster way to set down natural motion. I'm going to drag in the YouTube icon here. I'm actually going to select these merges and toggle those off. So we are back just with this media in. I'll connect that on the merge. And here we have this YouTube icon. I will scroll that down a bit. And yeah, let me even type in here. I'll bring in a text line and just type in subscribe. Connect that to our node tree as well. Yeah. Now I'll sort of pre-position these. I'll get the subscribe down here. My 
YouTube logo down in the corner. And then now I will use the same technique to very quickly animate both of these assets with some like smoothing and natural motion. So I'll go back to the beginning of my timeline to so the keyframe on that logo, draw to append. And as I start playing, I can just go. Now I have some extra jitters there. It shakes. And then slowly comes back down. And you see, this isn't like hardwired. We have individual keyframes at each of these points. And you can even go back and like select these and click this button over here to smooth them all, which will get like these little curves. So nothing's quite as harsh, but let's move on to that other element, the text. And we'll set a keyframe for that, draw to append. And then as we play through, the logo comes up. And then when it shakes, I want the text to come up and then come down. You could always sync those up in very different ways. And I have one motion here, but say you want to clear that out for whatever reason, you just double click on center and it will clear away all of those keyframes. So now subscribe is back to the center, but we can bring it down here and just have another go. You have all those keyframes on your timeline that you can always mess around with and change those, change the positions, change the timing in between of them, either in the spline viewer or the keyframes window. But with how quick this is, you could always just wipe them and have another go and see if you like that better. One small thing I do want to show you. I've I'm back at the beginning of my timeline. And if I set a keyframe, then turn on draw append. If I drag that, it will look like it's set in keyframes, but all those keyframes are at the same moment in time. So really, I believe only the last one really matters, especially when you're at the beginning of the frame. If you want, you could always wait to toggle on draw append until you are in your real starting position. And I will even do that. I will uh, click center, clear those out, pull down, subscribe, then set a keyframe and toggle on draw append. Then we can select that, press play. Our icon will pop up. The text will pop up and they can just shake together and then go down. And now we have just this little scene of icon, text, shake, shake, down. They have a little floaty depending on how smooth you hold them or how smooth you want to hold them. Animation, animation, shake, shake, and down. Like I said, a big part of this is style. And honestly, with everything, easy eased and stretched and super clean. I think for some people, this kind of a scrappier style of animation could play really well. This is a very, very cool, pretty hidden feature in Fusion. I'm not really sure what the intended use case is, but it definitely seems flexible. So instead of hand keyframing a lot of different elements, if you need something really quick and out there and just need to show some basic motion, maybe give this a go. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.